Did you get that important text from me? This episode is concentrating on a growing trend that I've noticed of texting replacing actual conversations. Now, I know I might sound a little bit old-fashioned, or maybe I might sound a little too idealistic, or maybe I just might sound a little defeatist, or maybe I just sound a little crazy. But what happened to actual conversations? What happened to looking at someone's cell and seeing their number and saying, man, I'm going to call that person? When did we scroll down to see that person's name and not push the cool green button that manufacturers have put a nice little phone drawn real nice and pretty and a great lime green color on it so you can push that little button and a person appears. When did we get to that point where the green button simply is to just get to the call log so you can send a quick text to the person that just tried to call you? Is it just me? Am I going insane? Did we lose that sense of, let me call this dude up and see what he's doing. Let me call my homegirl and see what she's up to today. No, let me go ahead and send this 151 word limit. I shouldn't say word. I should say character. Because you only got 151 characters. Is that far as most of those conversations now go? If you took... 151 characters and put it into an actual conversation, how far would that conversation go? I can tell you this much. This episode would last about maybe 60 seconds. So then, what happened? When did the, when did text message you become such a replacement for an actual conversation? Now, don't get me wrong. I understand the benefits of being able to send a quick text to somebody like, hey, you know, I'm going to be at a meeting in five minutes, or hey, I'm at work, I can't talk right now. Hey, let's meet up for dinner later at this time. Hey, let's go ahead and pick the kids up at this time. Baby, I'm not going to be at home, but, you know, I'll be at home at this certain time. Or, hey, what are you doing? Ain't that going on for the night? Sure, let's go ahead and get back with each other. Yeah, I can understand the importance and the coolness and the convenience of some of those lightning quick conversations. But does that explain... That to that person when they're not busy and they still send a text. When they're sitting on their ass at home doing nothing. Or maybe they, they just, they're out of the restaurant and really just eating and just a little bit bored. That text comes through. They didn't reach over to dial down to your address book and push that nice green button that I'm such a fan of. No, they scrolled down and commenced to the 151 characters. Just to see how you're doing. When the time that it took to type that text message, you could have pressed that cool green button and made a phone call. Is it any wonder why our communication between each other is so weird and so odd and almost instantaneous? Is it so odd that we're not as articulate as we used to be? That when we see people in, you know, on, on moving around and doing things on the phones, they look a little odd. We can look at them like, hey, what's the problem? Is it so odd that we got to the point to where I'm sitting in the car driving and I see people texting while they're driving, putting my life in danger because they couldn't simply push that green button and call somebody? You know, and, and, and to defend that, well, you know what, I, I ain't got time to do it. Well, if you ain't got time to, to, you know, if you're driving, you ain't got time to send a phone call, you damn sure ain't got time to send a text. But there is a cool invention called the Bluetooth. I know it irritates people to no ends of the Bluetooth, but, you know, that Bluetooth is very useful. Won't get you a ticket in school zones. You ain't got to take your, your hands off the wheel. You can be as articulate and expressive as you want with your hands and never take your eye off the ball. Or you could be eating and on your Bluetooth and having a good time. You could be at a ball game. You could do all these numerous things with both hands free. So the Bluetooth is pretty cool. And it has a cool blue button for you to make a phone call with. But no, I think it's a lot easier to text. I think it's so much easier to text that we've gotten so lazy and our attention span has gotten so bad that I think some people can't hold conversations. I've had conversations with people that I used to text with, and most of the time, if I'm not holding that conversation, we're exchanging airwaves. We're breathing into the phones, checking out, seeing what's going on. Why? Because the other person 
has a deficiency. They're just not used to talking. But I guarantee if I hang up and send some text, Lord have mercy, 150, 51 characters per text message are launching out, bleeding across my cell phone. That's pretty scary. That's pretty, pretty scary. And then imagine if you, get in, you want to get in a relationship with somebody. How do you build that relationship? Off text? So the next time, I guess, when you ask somebody, how'd y'all meet? And you say, hey, we didn't meet online. And who brought y'all together? Sprint. My all my faves plan brought us together. Did you, you mean Cupid? No, I mean that great text message service that I use with Cricket. You know, it's unlimited minute now, girl. Text messaging. When did it substitute actual conversation? 